Hi, we're going to be working on making a 10 in order to do some addition equations and make that a little bit quicker and make it a little um, more accurately accomplished, I guess I would say. Um, so before we start on the skill of making a 10, um, let's talk about the fact family for 10. So I'm going to just show you, this is something that you should already have memorized. So this is just going to be all of the things that you could do in order to make 10. So what I like to do is number my paper. Um, from zero all the way to 10. And this just helps to make sure that I don't forget any of the fact um, family partner pairs. Um, so over here, I've just got zero all the way to 10. Then I'm going to put my plus sign. Now this is something that you can make. Hopefully you have this memorized, but just for this making a 10 activity, I want you to have it as a visual. Um, so over here on this side, I'm essentially going to be counting back from 10 all the way to 0, and you'll see how that, how that ends up looking. But 0 plus 10 equals 10. Um, 1 plus 9 is 10. So if I just follow that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 and 4, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, 9 and 1, and 10 and 0. So here I have a chart that's going to be something I can reference. Um, if we were in the classroom, you would be able to see this up on the wall, um, but it is something that you should start having memorized in your head. Um, so in order to make a 10 to add, you have to know your fact family for 10. So I just wanted to make sure that we had that really close and handy um, and show you a quick way to do that. So again, I first started with zero and I counted down, I'm sorry, I counted up all the way to 10. And then I started at 10 and I counted all the way down to zero. Um, make sure that as you're going that these actually make sense. Um, all right, so back to our making a 10 to add. Um, I have a couple of problems and I'll show you how to do that. Um, in your book, you have a lot of these 10 frames. Um, I don't have 10 frames, so for these first couple, I'm gonna just draw a few out real quick. Um, so if your first problem said, make a 10 to add, and your equation is nine plus three. Well, in your head, something that you know, well, nine needs one more to get to the next 10. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like. So the first step in your head is what you're thinking, oh, I know what nine looks like on a 10 frame. Um, so I'm gonna just put in my nine facts. Remember you fill in the top row, then you fill in the bottom row. So there's my nine. And then I'm gonna just do a color change for the three that they're blue. Um, what you should be thinking is, hey, if I move one of these dots over here, I can fill in my 10 frame, right? And so this wouldn't be there. So this would be full and I would have 10 on the top and only two on the bottom. So nine plus three is the same as 10 plus two. Now in your book, you're going to see a lot of these equations where it says 9 plus 3, and then it'll have an equal sign, um, and then it'll say 10 plus 2, or you'll have to fill in what it equals into. Um, just when you see this equal sign, just say that this side has to equal the same amount as what is on this side. So if you said what is 9 plus 3, that would be 12, and 10 plus 2 also equals 12. So you want both sides of this equation to be equal. Um, so this is how you can make a 10. The first step is to learn that, hey, I can move these dots over. The second step will be to be able to do that in your head. So let's do another one where you're, we're gonna use the 10 frame. I'm just having a handful of markers. Um, all right, so let's do, ooh, that marker can just leave. All right, let's do eight plus four. And make a 10 in order to add. So in your head, you're thinking, oh, I already know this. Eight needs two more to get to the next 10. So I know I'm going to have to move two from one of my 10 frames into the other 10 frame. All right, so eight plus four, we've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you have to fill in that top row first, remember? Um, and then we've got the four. And so in order to fill this in, just like what we thought, we know we have to move two. So if I'm moving two, that means this one's not here and this one's not here. I'm moving those. So these are gone. Pretend like they're disappeared. 
So you're left with 2 on the bottom, and then this 10 frame is full. Okay, 8 plus 4 also equals 12. That's funny. All right, so <clears throat> 8 plus 4 is the same as 10 plus 2, and both of those are equal to 12. So if you were asked to make a 10 to add, your new equation should say 10 plus 2. And the, the, the sum of 8 plus 4 is 12. Um, I'm going to leave that 8 plus 4 up here, and I'm going to show you another way to think about this. Um, this is where you're going to use break apart. Now, I'm not supposed to teach you how to do break apart, but I think you can handle it. And I want to make sure that you have the most information that's going to make your life easier, especially with math. Um, so we're going to go back to our 8 plus 4. And I'm going to just draw it out like this. This is another way that you can think of this same equation, but you're using break apart instead of the 10 frame. So 8 plus 4. We know that 8 needs 2 to get to the next 10. So instead of looking at this as a 4, I'm going to break apart the number 4 because I know 4 is the same as 2, which is what I want. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now remember, this is something that you learned in kindergarten. You know about number bonds. You know that 2 plus 2 is 4. This is what I'm doing on here. I'm not drawing the circles. They take up too much space. So I'm just breaking apart 4 into 2 plus 2. Now my new equation is going to say 8 plus 2, which is 10. So actually, I'm not even going to write that. I'm going to just write my plus sign right here. So now my new equation is 10 plus 2, which equals 12. And this is to use the break apart. I'll show you how to do another break apart in order to get the 10 out, okay? So what if my equation is 9 plus 5? And I want to make a 10 in order to add this. Well, 9 partner pairs with 1, so I'm going to take 1 out of this 5. 1 plus something equals 5. Well, the missing number would be 4, so I have to put 4 over here. So next, what you're going to do is you are going to say 9 plus 1, which is 10. And then the other number that I had here is 4. So 10 plus 4, which is super easy, 14, is what the sum of 9 plus 5 is. And here's where my new equation would be, 10 plus 4. That's how you can show that you made a 10. Let's do another one. Now remember, all of these equations um, that we're doing have sums that are greater, I'm sorry, less than 20. So that's kind of with topic one, we're not having really big numbers. But as we get into more advanced second grade stuff, you'll see that the equations get a little bit more tricky. So what if my equation is 7 plus 5? All right, well, 7, and I'm just picking 7. I could say what partners pairs with 5, but I'm picking 7 because it's the greater number. 7 needs 3 more to get to the next 10, so I'm going to take the 3 out of this 5, and that leaves me with, oh, 3 plus, it's 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So 7 plus 3 is the 10, and then I can't forget about this 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. So the sum of 7 plus 5 is 12. Just to kind of show you what that looks like also on this 10 frame in case you're getting confused. All right, so just to show you what that kind of looks like, I am going to draw in 7 on the top. And then 5 on the bottom. That's just going to be one row across. I look here and I see that it needs three more of those little dots to fill in. So one, two, three, those are, those are gone. So they're filled in over here. That means that this is full, that has 10, and this one only has two that are left. So essentially that's what I was showing over here. I took those three and I put them over here and I made them into the next 10. Um, you'll get to the point where you can do a lot of this in your head. Um, and that's kind of what the, what the goal is. Having this 10 chart memorized is like step number one. Step number two is practice these problems a lot, and then you'll be able to do a lot more of this stuff inside of your head. Um, I'm going to show a couple more problems. Let's try 8 plus 7, um, and we're going to make a 10 to add. 
So I'm going to keep doing this break apart because that seems to be the best strategy. Um, and it also is one that gives you the equation that you're looking for as well. Um, if you still are more comfortable with drawing out the 10 frame, then that's fine. But I do want you to, to do more practice so that you can be better at this. So now remember, 8 needs 2 to get to the next 10. So in my head, I have to think, and like this, like, okay, 7 plus, um, I'm sorry, 2 plus something equals 7. The missing number from that is 5. Um, I need to take that out. And so my new equation is 8 plus 2, which is 10. And then I need to add the 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So I know that 8 plus 7 is 15. You could also look at this and say, hey, I know that that's a, um, a near double. And you already know that 8 plus 8 is 16. So one less than that would be 15. But for this, I want you to concentrate on making a 10 in order to add. Um, with that, I do want to show you this same thing. So, I'm sorry, let's see. So 8 plus 7 is the same as 10 plus 5. So you might have your on your paper and it looks like this. Um, what I want you to do with this is make sure that both sides end up being equal. What's on this side has to equal up to what's on this side. So at first, I want you to don't even pay attention to what this says. What is the 8 plus 7? Well, we just did that. That's 15. Then look at the other side. 10 plus 5. 10 plus 5. That's an easy one. That equals 15. Both of these sides equal up to be 15 so that you know it's correct. Now, if you wrote the 8 plus 7 is the same as 10 plus 4, you would know that that's incorrect. This is not a true statement. 15 does not equal 14. So you would be able to, to catch that mistake right there. Um, this is how you make a 10 in order to add. We talked about break apart, and we also talked about how to use um, the 10 chart in order to solve these problems.